Hi, I'm Betty, Education Coordinator with Five Rivers Metro Parks, and today we're going to introduce you to a lettuce bowl. This is a kit that you can purchase at the Second Street Market and have lots of fun throughout the summer. Now you might say to yourself, well, how would you do such a thing and can't you plant lettuce only in the spring? Well, it's easy to do and no, you can't plant it only in the spring. You can plant it throughout the summer. And the wonderful thing about lettuce is that it doesn't want blazing sunlight. So when you do have less than full sun, whether it's in your apartment or out on your deck or in your yard, you can plant a lettuce bowl in partial sun and it will work beautifully. Now the only trick about lettuce is to remember to keep it elevated because there are critters who go around who will love to have your lettuce as much as you will. So all that being said, I want to show you how easy this is and how much fun it can be. First we're going to start with a bowl. And you'll say, well, that doesn't look like much of a thing. It looks like a salad bowl. And it is. And what we're going to do is turn it over and in the bowl you get with your kit, you'll notice there's a little X in the middle of a circle. And what you're going to do, and your instructions tell you this, is take a pair of scissors or perhaps a screwdriver and go over top and just punch it out quickly. Uh, this is not going to come out evenly, so don't feel like you've done it wrong. But when you've gone ahead and pushed out your hole, your plant is always going to need drainage, and that's why you have to put the hole in it. And when you've put that hole out, you want to cover it. So you can cover it with a piece of pot. You can cover it with a three pack, an empty three pack that plants may have come in. You can even put plant tags over it. As long as you cover it so the soil does not fall out when you water it. Now, the first thing we're going to do is because we have this lettuce bowl, you may not be able to tell from this particular one, you're going to have a design and you'll say, my goodness, what a crazy looking thing that is. And what we're going to do with this design after we fill up our, our bowl with soil is we're going to move different parts of it. We can remove these two parts or those two parts. And we have two different colored lettuce varieties. And what we're going to do is to put one variety in one section and another variety in the other. So you get a wonderful mixture of red and green lettuces. So are, are you ready for this? We're going to go ahead and put soil into our bags. You will have soil included in your kit and you'll just pour it right in. Now this is potting soil. Now the difference between potting soil and regular garden top soil is that potting soil is very very light. It has these little white dots in it. The little white things are called vermiculite, and vermiculite adds to the fluffiness of the soil. Now when you put the soil in, you're going to have to shake it down a bit because it's going to compact having been in this bag for a while. And you'll want to have the soil so it is about a half an inch, I don't know if you can see this, about a half an inch from the top and you want to press it down lightly. Okay, now you've gotten your soil put in the bowl, here's where your template comes in. And because you trace the outside of it, it's gonna be just a little bit larger than the bowl. And you'll notice that you've got two packets of lettuce seed. Not that you need two packets for this bowl, but what we've given you is green lettuce and red lettuce. And so with your template, what you're gonna do, I taped this together for the simple reason that I didn't want it going all, all over the place when I was trying to plant. So I take the one quarter like this, and I'll take my red lettuce. I'll open the, the packet, and what I'm gonna do here, and your packets may look a little different, they won't have those pictures on the outside, but it's got the same lettuce seed in it and just enough to plant. 
from maybe a couple of plantings. Now, if you want to see how tiny lettuce seed is, it is very tiny and very light. And so when you look at this in your hand, you say, oh my gosh, I'll have to use all of it. Actually, you won't. So you want to pick it up just in your two fingers together and just make little drips of it, like two or three seeds, and maybe you'll do six different planting areas. And that's all there is to it. And you'll put the seed back in here. Now, lettuce does not like to be planted deeply. So what you're gonna do after you've gotten the seeds in, just take your fingers and lightly push the soil over the top. It's a very simple process. You don't have to go down deep. I know the, the first impulse with planting seeds is to bore your finger down in the hole and put the poor seeds down there and they're going, I can't see anything. You want them to be able to have light so they can germinate, just the least bit. So I put my red seeds over here. And what I'm gonna do now is I'm going to move this template and, and right across from it, I'm going to plant more red seeds. Again, about six little spots. Put the seeds back in the packet, cover them lightly. Okay, now that you've planted your red seeds, what you're gonna do is to flip your template if you've taken it apart so that you have the areas that were not planted. And because you planted the red seeds first, you're gonna have empty spaces now for green seeds. So what you'll do is the same thing. You'll go ahead and pull open your packet, pour the few of the seeds out into your hand, and just be amazed again at the size of them and how little it takes to plant something very impressive. Again, about six little different spots it's pretty evenly spaced as you can do, and then cover it back up. Return those, and then go over to the next seat, the next side here, and you'll repeat the process. And that's your six. You'll go ahead and cover it up. Now that you've planted everything, you want to go ahead and remove the template. And here's where you water. Now, when you water your lettuce basket, you don't want to put it underneath the, the nozzle in your sink. You want to get a very, very small watering can and go lightly back and forth, very easily, almost a dribble back and forth. What you're going for is that when you put your finger down in the soil, about the depth of the first digit here. You want the soil to feel moist, and that's all it needs. What you want to do now is to take this bowl, now that it's been planted, and put it in not blazing sun, but about half sun. And so that means if you get morning sun in an area, that will do fine. And fairly soon, you'll start to see the seeds germinate. Now, what's going to happen when seeds germinate? is that they're going to come up very tiny, like this. They're minuscule little things. And because you've planted groups of seeds in here, you're going to have clusters of those coming up. And when the clusters start to come out, what you'll do is to take your fingertips or a scissors, and you'll cut out the excess ones and just get rid of them. I know I hate killing seedlings, but this time you have to do it. And that'll leave an even space so that as the plants grow up, there's room for them to grow. Now in our finished basket over here, now this has been going now for about four weeks. And you can tell it's extremely full and you can barely see the difference now between the reds and the greens because they're two different varieties. But what's happened is we do have green and we do have red and that makes it just delightful. And you can, when you start to harvest, you come over to the sides and you'll take a scissors or your fingers and just snap off these little bits. You want to keep going from the sides to the center. 
And as you start to leave blank spaces in your salad bowl because you picked all the greens, go ahead and reseed. You can keep this thing going all summer long. And what a treat, just from a tiny bowl and some soil and some seeds and all your ingenuity.